Thanks for joining us here on Digital Creators. I'm Rob speaking and today we're going to be going over Pages. Pages is Apple's version of Word made by Microsoft. Uh, there's some great benefits to using it. You may not be able to use it for everything you do, but if you're unfamiliar with it, then this video is for you. I'm going to go over a brief overview of how it kind of functions, where things are located, and continuing on in the series, we're going to be going over in some more depth uh, things about pages and how to accomplish things. So go to your applications. You want to open up pages, obviously, and you're going to be prompt with the starting a new document window here. And as you can see, mine opens up in under iCloud. One of the benefits of opening up in iCloud and saving it there is you can work on pages on all your I iOS devices. So if you have an iPad, an iPhone, you'll be able to access this document, work on it, or whatever you need. Um, and that's kind of the beauty of iCloud. So we're going to start a new document. And when you click on new document, you're going to see themes. So if you're doing a business letter, um, mailing envelopes, making stickers, it doesn't matter. They have a ton of already pre-made themes in here that you can pick from or templates uh, for to use. We're just going to go ahead and open up a blank document. So when you first open it up, you're going to see this toolbar up at the top on the right hand side, the format or document style windows will be open up and the title of the page. If you just want to change the title of it, you can actually click on up this uh, edit tab up here and you can change the title right here if you'd like. So we'll just call this sample pages. And over here in the top right, you have your uh, controls for formatting and for a document. So right now it's clicked on format. If I clicked on that again, that would just kind of make it disappear. But under format, you're gonna have your, uh, your fonts, how you adjust alignments, spacing, and bullets. And like I said, I'll get into this in a little bit more detail. This is just an overview of it. So if you imported cells into your, into your document, uh, this is where you can adjust the columns, indents, tabs, uh, the style of the borders, and under documents, you have two tabs, documents and section. So under documents, you can uh, adjust how it's printed. This is where you control the header and uh, the document body, the margins, and under, uh, and under section, uh, you have some additional headers and footer options and how the number how the pages are numbered up here you're going to have a selection of tools and objects that you can add to your document and real quick uh, this little coaching tip if you click on that it's going to give you some more detail on the page that you're at so like if i clicked on format it would change so if you ever get lost or I'm not sure if you click on that helpful tips button that may provide or lead you to the information that you're looking for. So here under media, if I clicked on media, I can go ahead and import a document. Drag, drag and drop right there. Uh, shapes, you're gonna have different styles of shapes and already a default color to choose from. We'll just grab one, drop it in here. Different style charts, 2D, 3D, interactive. Uh, if you chose an interactive, you can drop it down here. Let me delete this picture. And then you can control it because it is interactive. You can adjust the scale or data from it or If you wanted to actually go in and just change the data, you can hit edit chart and then change some of the information in this data, in this uh, graph. And you can also click on it and reverse the graph to display the information the other way. And that's just real quick. I'm not gonna go in too depth over that right now. Let's see, you got tables. This is where you import your cells. 
similar to Excel on uh, Microsoft. So if I clicked on that, it would default drop down here. And that's where I can import my information for my cells. And then you also have this little tab to insert to make page breaks, columns, uh, page count numbers, etc. So uh, you can also go up here and make some of the same adjustments from up here. And this is where I'll, you can also save it if you're looking to save it. So if you're working with a Word document and you op it will open up in pages, but when you save it, you want to save it back to a Word document so you can access it through Microsoft Word. And this is where you would do that. So if I was going to ex export this, you're, you can see that there's several options, uh, PDF, Word, plain text, EPUB, or I believe that's the older version of Pages. So if you export it in Word, then you'll be able to open it up in Microsoft Word. And that's how you save pages so you can use Word and that's how they kind of talk to each other. So that's all, all I'm gonna to cover today is a brief overview. If you have any comments or you would like to see uh, some more detail about something, go ahead and leave a comment at the bottom. Like the video, share it, and if I get good response, I'll keep making uh, more pages videos and more in-depth advanced tips on on uh, how to use pages. So thank you for joining us here on Digital Creators. It's As always, it's a pleasure, and bye.